Mount Kailas and Mansarovar Lake. Situated in the autonomous region of China, Tibet is the ultimate pilgrimage destination for Hindus, Buddhists, Jains and Bonpos. Huge numbers of pilgrims come to visit this holy place from across the globe, especially from neighboring country India via route of Nepal. Tibet is the world's highest plateau surrounded by Himalayan range in the south, Karakoram range in the west and Kunglung mountain in the north. Its land structure climate and height have created unique identity as roof of the world it has so many high mountains and it is also the source to four sacred rivers namely the brahmaputra the indus the karnali and the sutlej the representative of eco trek nepal welcomes all pilgrims from different countries such as usa Australia, New Zealand, UK, India, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Indonesia, Russia and so on coming for Kailas Mansarobar tour at Trivuvan International Airport. Pilgrims are escorted to the hotel. In the evening time they are given brief orientation of Kailas Mansarobar tour. On the next day pilgrims are taken to have divine view darshan of Bodhnath Stupa. Mani bimbe ho Om Mani bimbe ho Budani Lakanta Temple Narayana, Narayana, Hari. and Swaimbunath Stupa. In the evening, they are taken to Pasupatinath Temple for Arati Darshan with a divine view of Lord Pasupatinath. Pilgrims can feel inner peace while participating in this huge ceremonial Arati. Today, early in the morning after having our breakfast in the hotel at Kathmandu, we move towards Tribhuvan International Airport and take a flight to Lhasa. Enjoying the mesmerizing views of Himalayan ranges, we land at Gongar Airport of Tibet in 1 hour 30 minutes time. It takes around 1 hour to reach the Lhasa Bazar from Gongar Airport via means of transportation. The amazing scenes of naked hills, Tibetan settlement at bottom of hills, agricultural land full of crops adds excitement upon our dear pilgrims. We spend one night at Lhasa and visit different places of Lhasa Bazar on the very next day. Lhasa, at the height of 3,600 meters, is the capital as well as the biggest city of autonomous region of China, Tibet, with highly developed infrastructure and facilities. The meaning of the word Lhasa in Tibetan language is the city of gods and goddesses. Apart from these, the palace of Dalai Lama, the Potala Palace, Jokhang Monastery at Barkor Bazar, Barkor Bazar itself and Barkor Monastery are other worthy and attractive places to visit at Lhasa. We can enjoy Nepali as well as Indian cuisine here. After spending two nights at the capital city of Tibet, today our journey to Kailas Mansarovar begins traveling via our coach. From Lhasa, one hour drives takes us to Brahmaputra river and by passing on its bank, we reach to Sigatse. It is the second biggest city after Lhasa. This Tasilompo Monastery is the residence of Panchen Lama. 
There are fine hotels for lodging and we have arranged meal for our pilgrims in a Nepali restaurant. We spend one night at Sigatse. Then our journey proceeds towards another facilitated city, Sangha. Ten hours of pleasurable journey full of beautiful scenario of uncovered hills. Cultivated crops at the bottom of hills takes us to Sangha Bazaar. We have managed our night stay at this hotel of Sangha Bazaar. Today we take our breakfast and continue our journey to Hor near the holy lake Mansarovar. Oh. Mansarovar Lake is situated at an elevation of 4590 meters above sea level. Making round of the lake and taking a deep in it is believed to purge one's soul from sins of hundred lifetimes and the body from sickness. This lake is so gigantic with circumference of 102 km. Hor is the place from where our actual Mansarovar Parikrama begins. It is strictly compulsory to travel via eco-bus while circumambulating Mansarobar Lake from here. Observing beautiful view of Rakchestal, Devil Lake on the way and having divine view of Kailas Parbat, we reach to Chu Monastery nearby Mansarovar Lake at around 2 hours time. There are mud built lodges and guest houses. We are going to spend our night here. Today early in the morning, we go to Mansarubar Lake to worship Lord Shiva. The cascading waves of the lake in the wind look very charming. Ducks and swans are playing and swimming in the age of lake. Our pilgrims are deeply connected with the spirituality of this lake. They are bathing in the cascading waves of Lake Mansarovar and enjoying the beauty of nature as well. This is a view of our pilgrims doing puja in a group. Our company also manages priest or purohit for ceremonial worship if our pilgrims wish for. Looking at the symbol of Lord Shiva himself, Kailas Parbat, we offer the favorite of Lord Shiva, Bel Patra, that is Eagle Marmelus, Ghee and Flowers at this place doing home and arati. After completing entire puja, Yatris move towards Darchen that is at an altitude of 4575 meter. It is the last market on the way to Kailash and is also regarded as the base camp of Mount Kailash. We spend one night at Darchen. Today we are preparing for Kailash Parikrama, Kailash Kora. Nepali staffs are loading required goods on truck. We take our breakfast at Darchen and get into our coach to reach Yamadwar. It is just 20 minute driving distance via our coach. Yamadwar, literally meaning the gate of heaven, is a place from where our three days parikrama begins. Pilgrims enter through one hole of the dwar, gate, and come out from other dwar. Those who cannot walk forward simply go round Yamadwar for three times and return back. 
it is believed to provide equal merit as of circumambulating mount kailas itself the south face of kailas parbat is seen amazing from here this path or trial is somehow busy with pilgrims horses local porters yaks and nepali staffs we also load all our necessary stuffs on horse and yaks and move forward with porters those who need horses and porters should pre-inform so that tibetan guide can arrange for that Mount Kailas situated at an elevation of 6638 meter above sea level is supposed to be the most pure religious place. It is believed to be the exact center of universe and is also known as navel of earth. Hindus regard it as the holy abode of Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. There are various logics to claim this parbat as being sacred. Buddhists have made Kailas popular as Mandala. According to the Hindu holy book the Ramayana, if one goes round of Kailas parbat and bathe in Mansarovar, they can reach Brahmalok. After 3 hours walking along the riverside road, we stopped for our lunch. The western face of Kailas Parbat is seen clearly from here. Below the parbat, we can see the exclusive elephant-shaped huge rock on the way. It is believed that God Indra rode on it. Again, two hours of walk takes us to Derapuk. Visitors are in absolute delight to have a close look on the holy Kailas Parbat from Derapuk. Wow, the scene of Kailas from here is like heaven. The north face of Kailas Parbat is seen amazing from here. If there is enough time, we can do Charan Sparsha, Kailas touch tour from here on the same day. Or we can do Kailas touch tour early in the morning on the next day. We are specialized on organizing Nandi Kora, Inner Kora, and Sivalinga Darshan. We spend our today's night at this guest house of Derapuk. Today is quite difficult day of our trip as we need to walk up to the highest place of whole journey that is Dormala Pass. Leaving Derapuk today, we pass by Sivastal, Ganesh Kunda, Pond and reach to Dormala Pass. This is the view of Dormala Pass. It is the topmost place throughout the whole journey which is at the height of 5636 meter above sea level. Pilgrims meditate and offer fragrant stick agarbatti and bheti money to Lord Shiva with a belief of wish fulfillment at this place. Moving step downward for 5 minutes we can see Gauri Kunda Lord Shiva is believed to have taken bath here together with his consort Parvati. We had divine view, darshan of this pond and move forward. Walking steep downward for about 1 hour from Dormala Pass, we reach to Sapche Datok. Pilgrims riding horse should walk the distance from Dormala Pass to Sapche Datok as the way is quite difficult and steep. There are a few tea shops where we relax for some time and it is also our lunch spot. The route after this is straight forward and we can also ride horse from here. The eastern face of Kailas Parbat is clearly visible from here. 
Three hours of walking takes us to Jutulpuk that is known as the least facilitated place of this journey. We spend one night here. On the next day, we begin to move early in the morning after having our breakfast. After walking for three hours, we reach to Chongdo. Our trekking ends from this place as we can travel by vehicles from here. Unloading all our stuffs from Yak, we farewell the caretakers of Yak. Then we travel via our coach for 25 minutes and reach Darchen. This company managed to serve vegetarian food to all our dear Yatris coming for Kailas tour throughout the journey. After taking our day meal, we proceed towards Mansarovar and doing remaining part of Mansarovar Kora, we return back following same route to Sanga, Sigatse and finally Lhasa, from where we take a flight back to Kathmandu. On the next day, our pilgrims are taken to Trivuvan International Airport for a final departure to their home country. This is how our Kailas Mansarobar tour terminates. The entire management for this trip has been done by the travel company Ecotrek Nepal, situated at Tamil Kathmandu. We are organizing adventures like mountain flight, trekking, peak climbing tour, jungle safari, whitewater river rafting and mountaineering along with holy tour to Nepal, India tour, Bhutan tour, Tibet tour since 1992. Please remember us for pleasurable journey for your lifetime. We are always ready at your service. Guest is God. Atithi Devu Bhava. Oh.